Lion Park was vandalized, leaving the community and donors in disbelief. The Oklahoma Lions Club donated more than $400,000 to the project in memory of the children that lost their lives in the Oklahoma City bombing. And although the park is still open for business, Oklahoma City Park and Recreation spokesperson said that there's an estimated $35,000 worth of damage to repair. There were some folks that came out one evening and decided to tear up a lot of the features in this playground. Uh, they tore up the safety surface, they tore up some of the children's toys that are interactive part of the playground, and they also damaged two of the drinking fountains here. We do get cases of graffiti here and there. The graffiti in certain areas seems to be kind of the, the go-to vandalism, if you will, but we don't get cases like this. This is very rare. We've already had about $29,000 worth of repair to the safety surface alone, and we're estimating about another 6,000 or so to replace the toys that were damaged or torn up. So all told, approximately $35,000. We always work with our uh, partners at the Oklahoma City Police Department and they are always doing what they can to keep an eye and an ear out but we also really rely upon the community and need community um, uh, people and, and our citizens to if they ever see anything suspicious or think that there's something going on we really need them to call 911 or if they hear of any crime that has been committed such as the vandalism here they need to call the police because the more that we can do and the more that they can help us the more our parks are safe for everyone. Now this isn't the only park in the Oklahoma City metro area that has been rebuilt North Rotary Park was destroyed in a fire last August but has since then been rebuilt and now open.